AEP Ohio serves one and a half million customers in 88 counties around the state. The grid smart deployment project that we have going on right now is associated with approximately 110,000 customers. We have 70 circuits that we're putting the distribution automation on and approximately 300 new reclosures will be installed with this project. The reclosure has many components to it. We have this radio which actually takes the data out of the reclosure and sends it back to the DAC. We also have a 2890 in there that it's a data access or engineering access where you can actually be at your house and download the reclosure and get all the events out of it. Timestamps as well. We got a 2401. It's a GPS clock where it actually syncs up the reclosure time with the devices in the station so we can coordinate default time specifically so we can troubleshoot a lot better. And you can also program the reclosure remotely and you can download events, SAG swell information. There's a vast amount of information we can get out of these now. So the devices out on the line, the reclosers, the capacitor banks, the regulators all communicate to the closest substation via a mesh wireless network. The data can go directly from a recloser or other device on the line to a substation, or if it's too far away, it can hop from one device to the next until it reaches the substation. From the substation, it'll go to the distribution automation controller. From there, the distribution automation controller or the DAC can make decisions, operate controls, or send data back to the distribution SCADA system. The data from the substation and the DAC goes over a private fiber network from the field to the control center. Since the radio system and the Schweitzer system both used industry standard protocols, the integration was very simple. It was just a matter of configuring the devices and the distribution automation controller. We plugged everything in to start communicating, so there wasn't a lot of integration or tweaking or a lot of detailed work that had to be done. Things pretty much just came right together. I've been working with SEO, the selected vendor for this project, to implement this distribution automation circuit. The distribution automation controller responds to events on the distribution circuit. It will recognize fault conditions from the circuit breaker anywhere down to any recloser on the line. It will wait for the recloser or circuit breaker to progress through its reclosing sequence, and then it will send commands to those devices downstream to isolate that faulted line section. Then it will analyze system conditions, and it will close a normally open tie point to bag feed non-faulted line sections if the system conditions persist that would allow that reconfiguration. The controller also responds to an open phase condition which might not produce fault current. For that condition, the controller will do the same thing, isolate the non-faulted line section and bag feed from a non-faulted line section. Now when choosing those bag feed scenarios, the controller can choose between multiple sources. And the way it will choose between multiple sources is that it will choose the source with the most available capacity on the feeder. If required, the controller can also sectionalize between sources to bag feed from multiple sources, and that's based on capacities. The controller will also recognize overload conditions and attempt on certain timers dependent upon the type of overload, load transfers, and the controller also has the functionality to implement load shed. The system will detect miscoordinations as well. So if a device upstream operates when a device downstream is closer to the fault, the controller will recognize that condition. It will automatically sectionalize the smallest amount of line section as it can. It will restore the upstream device which operated for the miscoordination and it will also bag feed if possible from a downstream device. The system will also respond to sequential events. If the DAC is in a current state of reconfiguration, it will reanalyze a new event and assess the whole system with multiple events in place. If the system has already reconfigured and a new event is detected, the system will also properly reconfigure that system based upon the new event and the existing configuration. The distribution automation controller builds upon today's local protection and has the potential to enhance this protection by isolating for open phase conditions which were not recognized by today's current protection. Additionally, customers could see the benefits of enhanced reliability as line sections which could have been isolated for a breaker fault can now be sectionalized and backfed to restore an amount of customers which previously would not have been restored. Basically, all the information will come from the field devices through the distribution automation controller back to our distribution SCADA, not only to respond automatically to faults due to trees coming down through the lines, but also to the fact that we can get equipment repaired before there's actually a customer complaint. 
So we really can use the DA system to reduce the customer minutes of interruption out on our circuits because now we can see what's going on out in the field when before we had to rely on our customers to tell us when the lights were out.